Okay, so we've got a 2012 Mazda 3 with the 2.5 liter, and we're going to change the spark plugs in it today. Uh, these are the new spark plugs I've got. They are NGK Laser Iridium. I'll put the link in the description on the part number as well. Um, so the recommended interval to change the spark plugs on these cars is 120,000 kilometers. I'm at 108,000 kilometers, but it doesn't hurt to change them early. Um, so the first step is just removing the engine cover here, which is not that hard. It's just four snaps, so you just pull up on each one here, like that, and then uh, that's off. And then um, basically what you want to do next is there's well, there's the four, four coil packs here, and under each of those is the spark plugs, and holding those each of those down is the is a little eight millimeter stud. So to do this, you'll need uh, an eight millimeter wrench is what I use just to get these studs off. And for these two, you'll need a 15 millimeter wrench. And then you'll also need a five eighths inch spark plug socket and a longer extension and a ratchet um, to get these out. So now we're gonna start on number one here. So first thing you need to do is crack this little eight millimeter stud loose. So I've just got an eight millimeter wrench. I'm just gonna crack that loose. It just like that, and then you should just be able to finger tighten it out. So there's that out. Now you can go ahead and pull the coil off. Just wiggle it loose, and there's your coil. You want to make sure to take care of these and try and wipe off any of the dust and try to avoid dropping anything down into the actual spark plug hole. Um, and you don't want to mix these up, so that's why we're doing these one at a time. So now we've got that out, we can drop our 5 8 uh, spark plug socket on an extension down there and we'll crack the uh, spark plug loose. And then once you get it cracked loose enough, you can just screw it out by hand. You want to be very careful with this. And uh, if something doesn't feel right, it probably is not right. So you just want to make sure everything feels right and everything's coming out smooth. And so you don't damage anything. So there we go. There's the first plug out. And that's the advantage of a spark plug socket. Is that it will hold on to the spark plug as opposed to just a regular socket. Um, and then you won't drop it back down in there. So that's my number one plug. So now we can go ahead and replace that with the new. Okay, so here's the new spark plug on the uh, plug socket. I don't know if you can see right in the middle there, I've added just a little bit of anti-seize just to help them come out next time. Whatever you do, you just do not want to get any anti-seize up on the top here where it fires. And you want to make sure that you handle this very carefully so that you don't damage this at all and you don't bend that. You make sure you don't want to drop this spark plug because that gap in there is very important. So you just want to make sure that it stays how it is. Okay, so now we've got the new plug and we'll just drop it down into the number one cylinder. You want to be careful not to drop it in there and you want to make sure you, whatever you do, you don't cross thread it. So you just want to you'll know if it's going in smooth. Just very slowly and don't force anything. It should go in very smooth because these are really good threads. And you should be able to just thread it in right by hand like how I am. Um, now I've looked up online and the torque spec I found was anywhere from 8 to 10 foot pounds for these. However on the box for the actual um, spark plugs itself it says go until hand tight and then do a sixteenth of a turn. Um, I'm personally going to use a torque wrench just to verify, but um, you most people just do until it's snug. You just don't want to over tighten them and break it loose. So I'm going to use a torque wrench here. And there you go, that's all you need.
Okay, so we've got all four plugs changed now, and uh, all that's left to do is put the engine cover on and start up the engine. Uh, as you can see, it's not really that tricky. It's pretty much just unscrew the old ones and put the new ones in. Uh, if you're wondering, the part number is for these NGK laser iridiums, which are the original equipment, is LTR5B113 or 90083. I'll put the link in the description and uh, that's that.